Salto KS Geo Crash Bar. The first thing you need to do is get into the crash bar in order to be able to remove the outside lock. Remove the end cap and possibly anything else that covers the screws that keep the crash bar connected to the door. Once I have that plate removed, I can look inside and see the screws that keep the lock on. Once you've found the screws, go ahead and remove them. After the screws have been removed, pull the crash bar away from the door. You will see where the geo lock connects into the crash bar with a small flat piece that sits into a slot on the crash bar. Remove the two screws that hold the geo lock in place. When you remove the second screw, hold onto the outside lock to make sure it doesn't fall. Once you have the geo off of the door, remove the beauty ring and spin the front and back around until you find the set screw that holds them together. Now use a size T6 star bit and remove that set screw. Be careful not to lose it. Use the orange horseshoe looking tool and find the two grooves on the side that it can fit into. Then turn the front from the back until the set screw hole is offline. Now you can pull the front and the back pieces apart. Locate the battery and use the pull tab to remove the old battery. Replace the old battery with the new battery. Once you've put the new battery in correctly, the lock will beep at you and lights would flash on the front. When putting the two pieces back together, make sure that you line up the black pins from one side to the other. Then use the orange horseshoe tool and tighten the front and the back together till you can see the hole for the set screw. Now tighten that set screw again. Before putting the lock back on, make sure that you put the beauty ring around the outside. Then you're going to make sure that the holes on the back of the lock line up and put those screws back in. Do not over tighten these screws. Use a hand tool to tighten the very last to make sure that they don't strip or break. Then line up the flat metal piece with the crash bar so that it fits inside. and replace the two screws that hold the crash bar onto the door. Now replace the end caps. So that the door is back together. And the last step is to test the lock with your door tag to make sure that it works correctly.